gonna wake back again. And guess what we're having today? We're gonna have hot pot. But this hot pot is different. Let me show you. These plates on a conveyor belt. This really reminds me of, you know, the sushi train. But instead of sushi, they have um, food that you can actually add to your hot pot, like egg, tofu, I'm not sure what that is. And then they have ham, beef, uh, mussels. They have a variety of seafood that you can just grab from the conveyor belt and just add it to your pot. It's so convenient. It's like, but there is tables that you can sit on, but we actually sat on the conveyor belt area. It was really nice and convenient. This place is called Viet Hot Pot, and they have like literally nine soup bases here. Tom Yum, crab, laksa, spicy, seafood, chicken, mushroom, sweet and sour, and vegetarian. The one I ordered was laksa, which is my favorite. And this is my laksa soup base. And pretty much there's nothing inside, it's just soup. And it also comes with a plate of seafood just to sweeten the soup up. And it's just crab legs. Like, and then wontons. And just one abalone. That's all you get is one abalone. And I couldn't even pick it up. <laughs> And this is a frozen scallop. And this is a crab. Yep, add in the scallops and come with two shrimps. And pretty much this is like the soup base to sweeten up your soup. And you can make your own sauces. And they have soy sauce, fish sauce, chili sauce, Cantonese soup sauce, exo sauce, chili sauce, bean curd, sesame sauce. Oh, I guess they don't have all the other sauce. But it comes with the bean curd and mushrooms that you can select. I think this is like um, a dessert. We have um, watermelon and different types of noodles that you can add to your pot. So I'm just gonna make my own own sauce. Um, just gonna do a chili oil sauce. Chili oil. I'm just adding a little bit of soy sauce, just a touch. I don't want to overwhelm it. And my pot is about to boil, so I'm just grabbing some beef. I'm not sure how to do it, but I guess you take off the lid and just put the plate of beef inside in front of you. This is just sliced beef. I didn't see any sliced pork or any sliced chicken, so I guess I only provide sliced beef at this location. But yep, yeah, wishy washy inside the soup base. inside my sauce that I made earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. She got some bean curd that I'm just gonna add to my own pot and let that soak for well, maybe like a few seconds.
just let it cook. Then you can adjust the temperature, low, high, medium. So when it starts to boil, you can just turn it lower. It's done. This only takes like two seconds to cook. Ready my chili? It is so hot inside. <laughs> I almost bit my mouth. But it is so nice and soft. Love this place. I've got my abalone that's cooked and fish balls. Let's try my abalone. It's been, my abalone has been sitting in the soup for maybe three minutes. So let's try it, see if it's soft. Mm. It's so soft. Can't believe how soft it is. Let's see. Fish balls. I highly recommend this place, it's so good. You have to come and try it. <laughs> this is how they top it off with this big kettle. I'm just finishing everything off with just some egg noodles. And I didn't eat them. have the crabs because the crabs are the flavor of the soup so you just leave it in there and it gives it a really nice sweet flavor sweet after cooking all the beef with the especially with the crab inside the abalone or the seafood that they give at the start actually gives you a lot of flavor in the soup it's really good 